Hello, I'm Noah Mickens, and uh, I'm just going to do a quick little video tour of the donation space at Living Cully Plaza that me and all the folks from Free Hot Soup have put together, because it's uh, come a long way in recent months, and I wanted to share it with folks. Uh, so let's see, first off, here is the little map that shows the order of the place and where all the different kind of stuff is supposed to go. Uh, you know, and so I made this so that people would be able to come and use the space when I'm not here. And here is the space itself. It's kind of dark in here. Over here is all of the food donations. Uh, I don't do a lot of the food. I mostly do clothing and camping supplies and toiletries and stuff. But there's a whole part of Free Hot Soup that is all about feeding people. And uh, so, you know, here's a ton of food here, canned food serving supplies over there. There's a whole lot more food over there. Now over here is the sorting table. We don't have any new donations right now, but if we did, they would go under and on top of the sorting table to be sorted out. Over here, we have the outgoing donations, which means this is stuff that um, we're not keeping because it's not really suited for immediate distribution on the streets, such as children's clothes and baby clothes. We don't keep that because children's and babies mostly uh, aren't on the street. They're in shelters and stuff. And uh, those kinds of things, sheets and towels, things that are just not as useful in emergency applications. Over here are the hygiene items. We have, you know, little individual drawers for like combs, batteries, deodorant, wet wipes, toothpaste, medical supplies, etc., etc. All around here is other stuff like that. It's kind of a little too dark, but there's, you know, a thing full of soap and a thing full of shampoo and a thing full of conditioner and like that. Right over here is a huge donation of blankets that we got recently. All of these box are filled with emergency blankets. Uh, and we are uh, sort of laying in for the winter right now because uh, Right now, it's real hot in Portland, so what they mostly need is more like water and respirator masks and stuff, but we are laying in for the winter. Over here are hoodies. This is all hoodies, women's hoodies on this side, and on this side, the men's hoodies, you see right here. Got quite a few of those. Uh, over here are shelves full of boots and shoes that are sorted by size with the smallest at the bottom and the biggest at the top and this is the men's shoes shelf and the women's shoes shelf sorry it's so dark in here I had to get some better lights in here over here are the coats this is an entire rack of men's coats look at all those great coats and then over there a whole big rack of women's coats the men's coats are doing very good we got these new ones these are like the perfect men's coats because they're long and insulated and waterproof and with hoods on them they are really great uh, women's coats over here like I was saying we've got lots of those the women's coats always build up real fast because uh, again you just you see more men on the street than women because I think women have a just an easier time getting into shelters and getting family members to help them and stuff over here is mismatched stuff this is the accessories section this entire drawer is three drawers full of scarves here we have all belts. Let's see if I can get more light on here. All belts. That's all the socks right there. Here's winter hats. Some more winter hats. Still more winter hats. We ended up with a whole lot of winter hats last winter right at the end. These are summer hats, you know, that are good for shade and keeping your head cool. Over here are the pants. Whole big shelf of pants. These are, you know, outdoor pants. Uh, blue jeans and corduroy and things like that. Work pants that are real strong. Let me see if I can move the light over here without unplugging it. Over here is the shelf full of blankets. Some very nice blankets right now. And, uh, I'm sorry, those are not the blankets. These are sweaters and sweatshirts. Over here are the sweaters and sweatshirts. We just recently started keeping these. Um, and again, we're basically laying in for the winter. Nobody on the street really needs a sweatshirt right now at the top of September in Oregon, but uh, they will. They'll be needing them. Over here are the blankets, for real. This is a big shelf all blankets and sleeping bags and things like that which are much needed on the street even during the warm season um let's see over here i will once again move some lights around because this is a cool part this is really 
probably the, the thing people need the very most, and it's kind of hard to come by, uh, and that's tents. So this is a tent section. Uh, we have a bunch of partial tents that need to be matched up, and also some complete tents, and some other camping stuff around here. We keep all the tarps over here, and big pieces of canvas. You see we have some Coleman stoves, cooking stoves right over there. We got a big old camp lan lantern, things like that. This is all camping supplies. Uh, and then way back there in the back are like sort of weird other stuff. Uh, you know, I, I don't really have a lot of use for this kind of thing a lot. So maybe that's a good thing to realize is this is stuff that, you know, when it comes here, I just kind of stick it in the back. It's like tools and uh, scrap wood. There's like a little kid's classroom blackboard back here and some stuff like that. So we don't really need a whole lot of that stuff. Here's more toiletries, razors, Ziploc bags, towels, all kinds of great stuff. But again, pretty dark. And then over here is just, uh, it's like all extra bags and boxes and things that we use to, you know, bag and box these things up and then send them out with people. And uh, well, that's pretty much it, really. This is the space. It's the Living Cully Plaza. Oh yeah, over here we have a list of places, donation centers, where you can donate stuff. Um, you know, we do mostly just keep the emergency supplies here, but so often we get uh, things that we don't really need here. And so we keep those in those boxes and send them out to those shelters. This is the place. It's all completely communally run and non-hierarchical. Uh, nobody is in charge of the spot, but I, uh, I've kind of taken it upon myself to just organize it here and, and uh, kind of keep the space running while other people bring donations and take donations out and put them uh, directly in the hands of people on the street. This is my thing now. It's what I'm doing in terms of activism and community organization, and uh, I'm getting a lot of help from a lot of other wonderful people, and uh, perhaps one of these days you'll have a couple of hours to kill and come be part of it all. I sure hope so. Bye.